May, June 2017. We're looking at question two now. It's 33 marks, it's 40 minutes. So in the exam, I wouldn't want this question to take longer than 40 minutes. If it does, it's a problem. Okay, you should try stick to the time allocation rather than the marks. This should be quite a difficult question. Why? It's the longest one, right? Okay, so what are they asking us for? Okay, um, you're looking at that. I would look at this first. This, required. Okay, that's where you go, and then you come back and you read that. Okay, so what do they want? Prepare the accounts in the general ledger. Okay, that's not too bad. That's T accounts. All right, so we need a T account for these accounts. So let's just take that T. Okay. And what was this? Water and electricity. That was the one. Trade receivables. Okay, water and electricity. Trade and other receivables. Trade receivables. Trade receivables. What else? And trade payables. Trade payables. Trade payables, P A Y payables. What else do they want? Prepare the statement of profit or loss. Okay, good. So we need that as well. Okay, so I'm going to do it on this side. What is that? That was A. This is A. And this is B. Statement of profit and loss and other comprehensive income you yeah, obviously write it in all of it like yeah. the name of the business the year and all of that okay yeah you should um, you probably won't get any marks for doing it but it just looks good okay um, don't do it at the beginning maybe do it at the end in case like if you've got time just to make it look neater okay um, sales cost of sales see this is what you study gross profit um, then I'm just going to leave a line other income okay other expenses and then profit for the year okay so there's the one total there's the other total cost of sales might have a working we need to check that okay so now we've now we've drawn what we needed to We've got this, we've got that. Okay, now I just need to go and get the information from the question. Okay, that's good exam technique. Okay, so um, commence with this question on a new page. Okay, Mr. Uh, Perry runs a small furniture retail business. Due to his lack of financial expertise, he never kept proper accounting records. Okay, uh, Mr. P recently approached the bank for a loan to expand his business. The bank requested um, him to provide financial statements. Okay, he decided to appoint an accountant to assist. The information was prepared okay fine all right balances do we need them yes only the ones that we have here are the ones we're going to draw up okay so water and electricity is what type of account an expense water and electricity doesn't have a balance but I do see a crude water electricity is this for last year or this year last year correct this was a crude last year so accrued liabilities have a, well, accrued expenses have a liability balance, which is a credit. Do you agree? How do I get how do I get rid of a credit balance? I debit the account. Okay, so if I debit this account, I'm going to credit this account with last year's accrued expense. Accrued water and electricity expense. Brackets. What year was this? 2015. 2015. Okay, that's last year's accrual. Last year's accrual needs to be taken out of this year's balances. Okay, how much was it? Six thirty. Yes. Okay, there's your accrued expenses. Is that right? Yeah. Sure. Yes. Okay. Then we need to look at other things. What else do we need? Trade receivables. Trade receivables is where? 
here, 111020. Okay, so triple 102. Triple 102 is receivables, opening balance. So first of, oh, I should have put the date in here. What was the date here? May, June. June. July. First of July. Okay, so 1 slash 7 balance brought down. This was an amount of trend and other receivables, debtors, triple one, O two. One 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 O two. There we go. Got that figure. Yes. Okay. What else do they want? Trade payables, which was seven eight O three. Seven eight O three balance brought down. And that's it. Okay, so those are the only balances that I'm going to actually have to post to my general ledger. The analysis of the business's bank statements has ruled the following aggregated receipts and payments for the year. Okay, so these are looking at receipts and payments. Okay, so what do we have here? Receipts from trade receivables. So what is that going to do to my debtors? Increase. Really? So when debtors pay, you increase the debtors. Oh, you decrease the debtors. Yes. Back. Correct. Bank goes up, debtors goes down. 31st of the 7th, bank, CRJ. How much? 172? 200. 200. Cash sales. They asked for sales. No, they didn't. But we're looking at a statement of comprehensive income, so I do need it. Sales, open brackets, how much? 30,460. 460, there's sales. See, so I'm getting marks as I go. These, these are easy marks. Okay, the easy mark is for knowing where to put what. Okay, that's all. And this is basics. You just know what it is. If you know it's an asset, if you know it's an income or an expense, then you'll know where to put it. Okay. Payments. Payments to trade creditors. What does that do to your creditors? Payments to your creditors? Increase. Ooh. When you pay your creditors, do you owe them more? No, you owe them less. Exactly. Okay, so if I pay creditors, the liability will decrease. Okay, so liability decreases on this side. 31st Bank, CPJ. How much? Ninety three one hundred. Does it make sense? Okay, yes. liabilities decrease on the debit. Okay, there's more payments. Water and electricity. If you're paying, what happens to bank? Decreases. The expense will be recorded. So water and electricity six nine five zero. Water and electricity on this side six nine five zero. Six nine five zero is going to be recorded on the debit side because you're crediting your bank. Credit bank debit the six nine. Five a water electricity bank. Same description. Okay, next. Online advertising expenses. Do they want that? Ooh, we also need to record this here. Can't forget about that. Um, water and electricity. Can't forget about that. CT account. Uh, no, we're going to see T account. Okay, the T account will give us the amount that we need to show there. Okay, online advertising expenses. Advertising, how much? 2940. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Insurance, did I have insurance here? No, I didn't, so I'll put it here. Insurance, how much? 4550. Four? Five, 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 oh. Five, five, oh. Yes. Okay, what's next? Cell phone expenses. Do I need it? Yes. yes. Cell phone expenses, open brackets, how much? Four seven eight eight. Four seven eight eight. Four seven eight eight. Great. Petrol. Petrol again. Another one. Petrol expenses. Open brackets. How much? Eight eight hundred. Eight eight. Eight eight oh oh. Got that, eh? Yes. Okay. What's next? Wages. Wages. Do we need it? Yes. Of course we do. How much? One six six nine five. One six. Six nine five. Six nine five. Ooh. Okay, one six six nine five. Is that right, eh? Yes. One double six nine five. Yeah. 
Okay, sundry expenses. What is drawings? Drawings is drawings. Drawings isn't an expense. It isn't income. So where must it go? Statement of changes in equity. Did they ask you for the statement of changes in equity? No, they didn't. So I'm not going to need it. Make sense? Okay. All right. So now you've got all the easy marks. Last bit is just to go through your adjustments. Okay. Where do the adjustments start? Here they. Okay, so additional information. After discussions with Perry, uh, the accountant established that the following information was not has not been accounted for. Okay, fine. So we need to provide for it. Do you agree? Yes. Okay. Number one, depreciation for the current year must still be taken into account. What is depreciation? Revision. What, what type of account is it? Uh, expense. Good. So where would it go? Statement of comprehensive income. Expenses are disclosed here. Brackets, and then you do working. Okay, so um, we've got two. I would show it separately. You can group it as one if you want to. Let's show it separately. So we've got two separate calculations. Okay, so depreciation. Uh, what assets do we have? Vehicle and depreciation. E equipment. Okay, two different assets. Right, the first asset, depreciation on vehicles, is calculated at 20% per annum using straight line. Straight line is easy. Why? You use you use the what? Cost. Right? Don't we use the cost for straight line? Okay, because I'm looking at what? Depreciation. And depreciation using the straight line method won't change. It's going to be 20% on the cost. So I need the cost of vehicles. Did, they, did we buy any vehicles though? There were no sales or purchases of vehicles. That's fine. And equipment for the current financial year. Okay, that's also fine. Okay, vehicles with cost. Yes, so we need to go back and we need to look at that. 21420. There's your depreciation for vehicles. 21420 times 20%, right? Yes. 21420. 21420. 21420. 20%. Great. What else did they say? Equipment cost. Equipment, 10% though. Yes. Per annum using diminishing balance. So diminishing balance is using carrying value. Carrying value is what I use to calculate depreciation. Do you agree? Okay, so um, depreciation for equipment here. I need a working here. Uh, where's my balances? There's equipment at cost eighty-eight minus what's my carry? What's my um, accumulated depreciation? Then give that to you, hey? Okay. okay, but then did they say something in the question? I think they did. Yeah, they did. Acquired on thirtieth of June twenty thirteen. That's important. Okay, so that's when you acquired it. So do you need to work out depreciation? Yes, because I need to work out depreciation right up until this date. Okay, so that requires a table. Okay, so depreciation for equipment. Okay, remember the format for our table? It never changes. Cost, depreciation, Accumulated depreciation, carrying value, right? Yes. Carrying value is what? Cost minus accumulated depreciation. Does the cost change? No. The cost was how much? 88. 88,000. Okay, how many years though? What year are we accounting for? 30. No. Look at the required. 30 June 2016. 30 June 2016 is the date. When did I buy the equipment? 30 June 2013. Okay, so 30 June 2013 is the date that I bought it. Uh, I'm then going to have 2014, which is one year, then 2015, right? Yes. Okay, so actually, this should go here. 2015, 
2015 and 2016 okay so this is when I bought it by right so this would have been year one year two year three okay, so I'm looking at that point in time that's what I want in terms of depreciation okay I want to know what the depreciation is here for the year because that's what I need to disclose okay and obviously to work out the depreciation I need the carrying value right so for the first year depreciation was how much percent 10%, 10%. okay so 10% of this times 0.1 gives you that accumulated is that carrying value is cost minus accumulated gives you that right how do I work out uh, depreciation for the next year what do I use how do I get this figure Ten percent of the set of the seventy-nine thousand two hundred. Correct. That's a bit too dark. Okay, so that times point one gives you that figure. This would be accumulated plus depreciation gives you that. Okay, carrying value, same story. The one minus the other. Okay, cost minus accumulated gives me that figure. Okay, yes. then this amount is going to be worked out on that figure times 10%. Okay, makes sense. Yes. All right, then this accumulated would have been this plus that. This amount is cost minus accumulated gives you that. All right, so this is what I wanted. That's what I want. Depreciation. So here I'm going to write down C workings. Right. And I'm going to show 7128 there as depreciation for equipment. And now I've completed that point. Okay. Go back. Keep going. Next point. What else do I have? Was it it? Ooh, that's it. Nice. Short question, actually. Yeah, that's it, eh? Why is that's where it ends. Yeah, but how is it possible that this question is worth 33 marks? It's possible because you have to do all those workings for the depreciation. I mean, that could easily cover five marks on its own. Oh. Okay, but we haven't finished yet. We need to wrap it up. So let's go back and let's balance these accounts off. Right, so water electricity, I can balance this account off now. Uh, which side's bigger here? this side okay so that on both sides so then you would have this figure which will be the balancing figure and they will have gone to the profit and loss okay so there's your please explain that to me again um, we're closing off the expense account to profit and loss Okay, because profit and loss, you're calculating profits. Okay. Okay. I still don't understand why you put the 6,950. Because it's the bigger amount. There's the bigger amount. Yes, but... Oh, oh, you mean that amount. You're right. This, sorry, minus that. There we go. That's better. Okay. So this is going to have an amount of 6,320. Okay. Okay. Um, trade receivables will wrap up just now. Trade payables will wrap up just now. Uh, was there anything else here about trade payables? No, there wasn't. Receipts from debtors, we recorded that, right? Yes, I did. Payments, we recorded that. That's also fine. And then the yeah, additional information, that's it. Yeah, okay, so that's it. Um, let's just summarize those bits and pieces there. So let's delete this bit. Okay, so we've closed that account off. That's the one amount. This account, which side's bigger? This side is bigger. But you actually need sales here. That's the thing. Trade, trade receivables should have given you sales, but they didn't. Do you agree? Yeah. Right. There should have been sales here. There's no sales here. So I'm going to assume they said sales. cash sales. Yeah, but they didn't say credit sales. Do you see that? Yeah. Okay. So problem here. So there should have been sales here. We don't know what it is. 
Okay, because this is going to give me trade receivables with a debit balance. That's bad. I need a credit. I need a debit balance. I mean, a, I'm going to end up with a credit balance, but I need a debit balance. Let's just check if there's anything else here that we can use. Uh, vehicles inventory. No, I can't use that. Um, they haven't given you anything else here. Oh, they haven't. And then they've just given you that. And that's it. Turnover. Yeah, that's page five. This is page four, right? Didn't, no missing pages. Yeah, that is page four. Okay, so. And they didn't give you a markup or anything like that, did they? No, nothing. No markup. Yeah, so it's literally as. What, what they've given you is what you've recorded. Okay, so we'll have to do what we can with this. There should be a figure here. It wasn't given. Oh, that's problematic. There, there needs to be a figure there. Okay, for sales. Um, if I use, even if I there use, weren't any sales. <laughs> no, there were sales, but there has to be sales because you received outstanding payments. Okay, this looks very, 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 very strange. If this has a credit balance. Okay, same thing with here at the bottom. Purchases total. Purchases question mark. They needed to give you that. Okay. Uh, what we can do though is, yeah, they haven't given you more information. They haven't given you a complete financial position. They've only, only given you that, but that's it. Drawings, you know, no capital even. If they gave you capital, then you could work it out. Because then you would have um, open and closing stock. Okay, so. Mm, yeah, there's nothing else here. That was question two. And this is question, yeah. Question two and question one. Question two is there. Oh, they did give you more balances. Sorry. Uh, this this is part of the question. Yes. Yeah, this is part of it. Okay, this is thirty June. There we go. Okay, they did give you more information. Right. So we do know what this is now. Uh, vehicles at cost. We don't need vehicles at cost. Okay. Equipment at cost. Inventory. Uh, we don't need. Okay. There's there's debtors. Fifteen, two, fifteen, seven, two, oh, two, oh, two, two. Uh, so that's trade receivables balance at the thirty first of De uh, June. So that's the end of the year, twenty sixteen. So 30, 6, 2016, balance, carry down, okay, balance brought down, 1st of July, balance brought down, okay, the amount here is how much? 15722. Okay, 151572. And the side, 15722. Yeah. Okay, and then trade payables. 10,003 10,003 10,003 Balance carry down Carry down here Brought down There Okay, so now I can work out the balancing figure So this is going to be the balancing figure For that column Because that's all they gave you They gave you, oh, prepaid insurance That's also something I need to provide for uh, prepaid insurance is for the current year, right? So what is that going to do to my insurance? If it's prepaid, it's going to uh, reduce it, right? Yes. Okay, so minus, how much is it? Three, five. Okay, so there's my prepaid insurance. Prepayments reduce your current. Do you agree? Yes. Okay. Accrued, Accrued water, water electricity means it hasn't been paid. So water electricity, oh, so we need to add here. Ooh, go back, add. Add an extra line. Okay, if it's accrued, it hasn't been paid, right? Yes. Accrued expense will be a liability, so it'll have a debit or credit. A debit. It'll have a credit, it's a liability. So you'd credit the liability, debit the expense. Accrued expenses. How much? 8820. Oh. Okay, so this needs to change. Um, this side's bigger. Sum up those two. Yeah, because they gave you a bit more information. Yeah, yes, they did. Okay, we need that. Okay, uh, we've got that, and then this minus that. Okay, that's the right total. This is going to be this figure here. Okay, now that's better. 
Now what electricity is correct? This is obviously going to be sales, which you're going to have to work out. Sales from the debtor's journal or the sales journal. And which side's bigger here now? This side would be bigger. So sum up all of that gives me equals this. So this minus that gives me 176820, which is my sales figure, which I would then include here. 176820, asterisk, credit, sales. That's what I'm going to add there, the debtors. Okay. Trade payables, they gave you total purchases. Well, they didn't give you total purchases, they gave you the balances. So I can add up this side. Gives me that total. I'm going to have the same amount on both sides. Okay, I want to work out the balance there. So this minus that gives you the total purchases. Okay, total purchases would have been part of cost of sales. We need inventory to work out cost of sales. There's inventory. Okay, so you do need cost of sales here, but it's a working. cost of sales okay so this is what we're going to do here cost of sales is equal to opening stock opening stock add purchases uh, less returns returns um, add uh, other costs less closing stock does that make sense gives you cost of sales equals cost of of sales okay so opening stock do I have that information this is closing stock right Okay, 20372. 20372. Uh, There's 1st of July. 14552. 14552. Right, what else do we need here? Uh, vehicles, equipment. Uh, inventory we've done that we've done that we've done that that's fine and there wasn't anything else there other than that perfect okay so going back to this you can see these were your total purchases right so these total purchases is representing the amount that you've bought there's it there okay so this is going to go there okay there'll be zero here and zero there so cost of sales would be opening stock plus purchases minus closing stock gives you that figure cost of sales so I've got cost of sales now we can put that in okay sales is the sum of those two amounts equals that gross profit would be this minus that other income there was zero for this question Let's keep it as is then and then advertising advertising didn't change uh, insurance did this didn't change this didn't change this didn't change this didn't change this is a working so two one two one four two zero oh, times twenty percent gives you that okay so other expenses equals the sum of all of those expenses okay so my profit for the year is the gross profit plus nothing minus something gives me that figure profit for the year okay all right so quite a tricky question this was the most difficult question out of all of them because it was the longest
Okay, so normally the longer the question, the more adjustments, the more workings. You can see I've done a lot of workings here and there. Okay, but the disclosure is not so bad. Remember a lot of easy marks. Yeah, you saw how many easy marks we got, and then obviously it got a bit more complicated with some of these balancing figures. Okay, and that'll be more difficult. So you should be able to pass the question quite easily. You should be able to get at least, what is this out of? 33. You should easily get 17 out of 33, and you should be trying to get more than that. Okay, obviously one or two things you might not be able to do, but that doesn't matter. You would have hopefully have passed the question. As long as you're passing each question, that's the key. Happy with that one?